Hey guys, Darren here. Yes, I am alive and well. Don't my hair look pretty? How are you guys doing? Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Man, been working my butt off, been out of town uh, for a few days, and now I'm back home uh, catching up on a lot of stuff. Uh, managed to uh, not have any kind of crazy stuff happen today and got off at the regular time, so doing a whole bunch of catching up on the property. This is the bridge that we pulled from right there and it is burning 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 and uh, nothing like five gallons of diesel to help it along and ain't it a pretty fire fire in the back there we go that might be hang on there we go bam that's beautiful anyway uh, i wanted to kind of give you an update as to what's going on on the property um one of the things we decided to do uh, Shauna's channel, my wife's channel. Uh, we still have it. We're not going to be posting a lot of stuff to it because uh, uh, we kind of talked about it and just there's going to be uh, two or three days of the week that she's going to post stuff to uh, Mayhem Country Living, the channel that we already have, uh, as opposed to trying to cultivate a new one. There's just so much going on uh, with uh, the computers and uh, with the uh, you know plans and uh, prepping network and stuff like that. It's just, we don't have time for another channel when we're doing a, a channel on the website and, and a bunch of different uh, Facebook groups as well. So uh, we're going to uh, kind of condense that so you will see her on here a lot, uh, a, a lot more. And like I said, two or three days a week, uh, it will be just her doing her videos. And she likes to uh, uh, do her thing. And uh, if, if you like watching them, that's fantastic. I would appreciate it. But we're going to show you uh, what we're working on. I've been cleaning up, like I said, and getting a bunch of stuff caught up. So we're going to go to the backyard because um, I'm doing a little bit of stuff over there with the chickens. I'll tell you, all the okay. rain we've had has really helped the creek along, cleared it out. It was getting kind of uh, slimy, and it does that. It's a three-season creek if we don't have a lot of rain, and this rain has really done wonders, washed it out. And they try to bring the ducks out here and let them play. Gosh, I hate to send them down the pipe though. Tomatoes, you can see uh, two or three decent sized tomatoes uh, and she's really happy about those. There's Murray, he's still pissed of being relegated to the far side. More to come guys. Hey guys. Okay, now we're back. I wanted to show you something I thought was really cool. My son brought over four 12 inch by 12 inch by half inch steel plate for our shooting range and uh, we're going to do a little bit of stuff and get it set up for uh, to do some rifle work and these will be fantastic also for uh, for the pistols as well we'll probably do uh, we'll have five of them total six seven out there so we'll do probably uh, three or four close and, you know, uh, whatever remainder we'll do, you know, uh, 100 yards, 125 yards, something like that. So that'll be kind of fun. Going to clear that, uh, uh, the back of that out a little bit more. But, uh, still hadn't made it back to the uh, backyard yet. So, okay guys, now we're back and I'll show you, I'll give you a gratuitous chicken shot. They're hanging out under the muscadine arbor. Oh, and they're all in the doghouse eating the dog food. Who knew chickens like dog food? Those aren't chickens, those are pigs. Anyway, uh, everything's going really good. We haven't lost any of them. The ducks are freaking thriving uh, wherever they are. There they are. Uh, turns out that tractor supply did not give us quite the ducks that we wanted. Um, one is a uh, pecking and one is an Indian runner. I found that out because you can tell the difference in the color of the bill. Um, so, eh, way it is. And the other two are Rowans, I believe. And we're going to be using, trying uh, milk crates as brooder boxes and get a, a base set up. But, this uh, put a new roof on here just put new uh, tarp on it because 
I don't have the money to reskin it right now, put a new metal roof on it, or I don't have the money for this project. Um, we're going to move this building over here up against the fence, get it a little bit further away from the house, and then they'll go out the back and we'll fence this off all the way across and all that back there is going to be uh, chicken. So it'll be pretty good size. You can see continuing up, we'll tie this fence off right here and uh, we'll put chicken wire all the way around it and this will be pretty much for the chickens and we'll just let this stuff sit back here maybe in a year or two we will uh, open this back up and use it for the garden but the garden and everything is going across the creek where it's never been before so it should be really nice and fertile and it's just uh, kind of what we're doing I, I thought this was going to be a good spot but it's not exactly where I want it and if I'm going to do what I want to do with them, I need to have everything set up this year uh, for uh, production. So, everything in here, I'll cut this off. There we go. Everything in here will just stay attached. I can lift this up and put it on rollers and pull it with a four wheeler and push it into place. That's how I got it here. Uh, in the first place because it was about a hundred feet away and it's no worse for wear. I'll reinforce it in a few spots and we should be good to go. I'll run some more wire. I might dig a small shallow trench and run it all the way out there to it just to uh, not have to worry with it and that will allow us to have everything over here. Uh, one of the things is we're going to trim this tree up and I want this all out from under it so it's kind of what I've been doing uh, Hooch asked me to uh, trim some of the the sharp uh, screws that were remaining sticking out so I did that I put the new roof on today um, and it looks a lot better than the raggedy ass old tarp uh, that was on there albeit it is another tarp but from the road it looks like a metal roof okay, okay guys there they all are or no there's half of them out there hanging out they like being under here because it's nice and cool and they love to eat the muscadines we're through uh getting what we wanted off of it so we always leave it for the birds which usually it was like for the birds up in the trees flying birds well those birds are in the trees too and uh this muscadine is about a 10 year old plant and uh you can see by the uh, the root it's probably as big around as my wrist and they love hanging out in it and they're pooping under it and it's fertilizing it so it's the cycle of life here is a cherry tomato and they take off and run with it and one will steal it from the other one great Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up uh, for us for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for coming by and taking a look at everything. I really appreciate it. Just a second over here on this side, you're going to see a picture of my ugly mug and my beautiful wife pop up on that side of the screen. And hit that button to subscribe and uh, ring that bell. If we are indeed your brand of wacky on the opposite side, are going to be some videos that might be of interest to you. As always, guys, it's time to get crazy. Take care of your people.